All right, this is um, a YouTube tutorial on how to mount an ISO image. Um, first of all, what you're going to need is an ISO to mount. And um, to download an ISO, you can go to the Pirate Bay, which is a good site. You c it does a lot of stuff. Um, let's just search games. Oblivion, that's the one I'm going to be doing. Um, all the expansions gives you a list of pretty much all the games there. It's all the same game, just different people uploaded it. Some might be better than others, but yeah. Um, so that's me got it here, and as you can see, I've got two ISOs. One's the main game, and the other one is the um expansions and a lot of these ISOs come with instructions just telling you which order to install like this install the base game first and then expansions and then update it um, and a lot of these games come with them um, cracks and what the cracks do is pretty much allow you to play the game and it sort of tells the game that you ha you're using a disc even though you're not, which is pretty cool, but um, yeah, what else you're gonna need? Oh, well, something else you're gonna need is a program called Daemon's Tool. So Daemon's Tool Light because Light is the free one, and it's just it does everything you're really gonna need. So you can just download that, and I've already got it as you can see here. So if I open this. And what you're going to want to do is add a drive, which is just a virtual drive. It's because once you add an image like this, it tells the um, wait, we mount it. If we mount it, it goes into the drive and it acts as if there's a disk in it, even though everything's done in the computer. Um, so you can just run it and here it would say install but I've already installed it so it won't it will say inst install for you but not for me so I'm just going to remove these and I'm going to add the other one to show you what the crack does so if I mount this image and instead of running it, I'm going to open the folders to see. And as you can see here, it's got the crack. And what the crack does is, I've already told you what the crack does, but you can just drag and drop it into the, um, into the installed directory of the game. And that's pretty much it. So... Huh? Get my house.